objective within this lesson is to subtract fractions from numbers between 1 and 2. Read the subtraction expression 1 and a third minus 1 half. First, let's model 1 and 1 and 1 third. There's 1. And there's 1 third. We have 1 and 1 third. If we're subtracting a half, then we can make like units. Where we have 6. 1 whole is equal to 6 6. And now when we look at it again, we now have 8 6 which equals 1 and 1 third, which was 6 6, along with 2 6. When I subtract a half, a half is equal to 3 6. So I can subtract it right here, 1, 2, and 3. So our answer for 1 and a third minus a half is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that was 8 6 minus 3 6 equaling 5, 6. One and a fifth minus one third. Are the units the same? Nope, they're not. So we have to make like units. There's one. And one fifth. We have fifths and thirds, so we get to fifteenths. So one whole is equal to fifteen fifteenths, and then one fifth is equal to three fifteenths. So that's fifteen fifteenths. 3 fifteenths minus 1 third take off 1 third leaves us with that's 1 third which was 5 fifteenths so that was 15 fifteenths plus 3 fifteenths minus 5 fifteenths so we go 15 fifteenths minus 5 fifteenths, which is 10 fifteenths, plus 3 fifteenths, equaling 13 fifteenths. You can count it here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 fifteenths. One and a half minus two thirds. We'll try a different method this time. Here's one. Here's a half. So that's one and a half. Halves and thirds, so we get to six. One and a half minus two thirds. Two thirds is equal to four six. So that's one and three six, which is also nine six. Six six, three six, minus four six. One, two, three, four. Leaves us with five, six. 
So that was the other method. Take it right away from our one and a half number. So six six and three six minus four six is nine six minus four six, which is five six. Okay, it's your turn to try. One and one fourth minus two thirds. Pause the video while you do your work. There's one and one fourth. Fourths and thirds, we get twelfths then. More lines and then two more lines for thirds so that we get twelfths. Subtract two thirds. That leaves us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Leaves us. So the answer is seven twelfths. Writing it out, we would have had one and three twelfths minus eight twelfths, one and three twelfths. That's 12 twelfths plus 3 twelfths minus 8 twelfths. So 15 twelfths minus 8 twelfths, which equals 7 twelfths. One and three fourths minus four fifths. Model one and three fourths first. Then make equivalent fractions. So we get to twentieths. And we have one and three fourths, which also equals twenty twentieths, along with fifteen twentieths, which is 35 twentieths minus 4 fifths. So we got 4 out of the 5. Leaves us with 1, 2, 3, 4, along with 15 twentieths. Let's see what it looks like when we work that out. We have 35 twentieths minus 4 fifths. 4 fifths is 16 twentieths. So 35 minus 16 is 19 twentieths. Can we see that in our model? Let's see. That's 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 twentieths.